What's good guys, your boy Fresh No Gators Outdoors. I'm your host Kai Samuel, and today we're doing a little bit of squirrel hunting. So we're about to go to one of my properties about an hour away. Um, about to sit next to a tree, find me a squirrel, you know, to shoot at. So um, there's also some tall grass, so the first thing I actually gonna do is load some buckshot in my shotgun, go over there, try to jump on me a deer, and then come back, load me some bird shot, and um, go, go kill me a squirrel. So that's our plan today. If I do kill some squirrels, um, um, I might do a catch and cook. I really don't know if I feel like doing it, but um, might be able to do, might be doing that too. So, yeah. So that's that's what we'll be doing today. And just look at that truck. Look at that beautiful. Hold up, we're just gonna get a quick edit of the truck. All right, we're gonna get a quick edit of the truck, and then we're gonna go ahead and head down there. All right. Sorry guys, there's no edit of the truck. Um, I messed the clip up, but we're just gonna roll into the next clip. Wait, don't forget to subscribe, yes, man. All right, guys. So we here at my grandma's house. We got my, my uh, cousin's roommate and got my cousin over there, Josh. And we finna. He never shot a shotgun before, but we finna let him shoot um, this shotgun right here. It shoots a three and a half. We let him shoot a three and a half and a three inch. And then we gonna let him shoot that gun right there um, and a two and three quarter. We let him shoot the two and three quarter first, and then we will let him shoot a three inch and a three and a half and see how see how he handles the three and a half. I just wanna see how he handles the three and a half for the first time shooting a shotgun. So yeah, so. Here we go. Uh, you see that? You see that bucket right there? That white bucket up against the tree. Look at that. Right. If you don't blow on the when you shoot, you should go look straight down this and right at the B. All right, and that should be your A. Shut up. All right, let's get a water base. Yeah, there you go. Not too, that's too hot. <laughs> right there, now lean, yeah, lean in. A little bit. Lean into it too. Yeah. It's gonna jerk you back when you, when you pull the trigger. All right, all right, so you be ready. That bitch hit though. Put the joke back on safe. Other side. Right there, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna let you load this one too. Get some experience loading this one. All right, so, so it's a lot of us paint same thing. So open that chamber, open it, pull it back, all the way back to the locks. It's locked back. Okay. Now put a three inch in there. Just drop it in there. This one. Oh, don't look. That one right there, the green one. All right, put it in there. Just drop it in there, and then just hit the button. Just hit the button. Hit this the one? button. Yeah. Get your finger out the way. Hit the button. Okay. Now flip it over on the other, on the on the underside. All right. Now put that in there. Slide in there. Slide in that. Yeah, right there, like that. Boom, push, push it down, it, push okay. it down slide it in there, push forward, there. push forward, push forward from, from the back. back, yeah, from the back. Now put it to a locks, to oh, a locks, okay. to a locks. There you go. And then flip it over. <laughs> this is different. So the safety is on top. It's way easier. So you hold it like a regular gun. And then, and then when you're done, just push that forward, and you're good. Now you got two shells in there. You got two shells. You only shoot once. Shoot once. <laughs> aim again, and then shoot another time. Okay. All right. So this is the three inch and three and a half. All right, now th this one gonna this, kick, this one gonna kick you back more. A little bit more, yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a lighter gun and it's shooting a, a, a heavier, heavier shell. So when you ready, did you hit it? You hit it. It was underneath it. It's underneath. Yeah, go a little bit higher. All right, you got a second shell in there, so you fire when ready. <laughs> How would that feel? A couple, a couple pellets hit it. How'd that feel? Still it felt good. I like it, I like it though. <laughs> that shit rock, bro. It does. I got a lot of kick to it though. Hell that yeah. Mm -hmm. It's them three inch, yo. It's them, bro, them Shoot. three inch and that three, three and a half. And that's a light gun too. Bro. Which one is that? Is that the, uh, is that the Mossberg? No. Yeah, Mossberg 935. Bro, this. His gun is, my, my gun is old. My, own, my gun is really old. Yeah, this is, I got this for cheap though. I got this for two ninety nine. It retails around like seven ninety nine. So. It done light one hand, pull the trigger, bro. Damn. But this thing, <laughs> it rock you, bro. It will rock you, bro. When you especially aiming at a deer, mm -hmm. you can't be shooting fast with this. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're here at the place where we're gonna be squirrel hunting, and I got my cousin right here. We can kind of see if we're gonna jump a deer first, and then we go squirrel hunting. All right. Park because then it gets a little thick, it's a little thin. So, 
Get ready for Lego. Sorry, you know, we I ain't had the camera on me, but saw us a nice little fat old squirrel in a tree. I shot him out about three or four times. I got him on the last shot. Obviously, he down. Nice little chunky one, too. You know, um, we kind of skin him up real quick. We just don't get his back leg sound quarters on where you call him. Because everything else is shot up. I should never use 12 gauge. I know y'all probably gonna roast me in the comments, but like, I should use a 22. Well, my 22 doesn't have a magazine in it, so I'm gonna bring that out. So, guys, so yeah, so we had one squirrel. I did not get it on camera. I'm super sorry that I did not. Oh, this thing's probably facing up a little bit. So, I did not get them on camera. Um, sorry about that. Probably still gonna need to turn this face up. Ugh. But yeah, not get them on camera. Sorry about that, guys. But um, I ain't probably do a little catch and cook. You know what I'm saying? Got them skinned up, and now we're gonna head home and um and cook them up for you. See how how us black folks cook some squirrel up. I'm telling you, we, we cook them up good too. We cook them up good. All right, guys. So we're back at the house. Um, got the meat prepared. Um, washed it, cleaned it, cleaned up the meat. Got some of the stuff that I'm gonna show y'all what we have. Um, just to show y'all guys what what we have here. Let's see, if that's a good angle. So, <clears throat> so got the meat right here. Only used the hind quarters that y'all seen because I tore the squirrel up with the 12 gauge. Not an ideal thing. Do not do not squirrel hunt with a 12 gauge. It's not the perfect gun to to, to shoot. Shoot a 22, 10 gauge. I mean 410 or 20 gauge. One of those guns. Um, 12 gauge, too many pellets. Um, here we have the Cajun seasoning. I like a little bit spices on my on my food, so we got a little Cajun seasoning. Um, go ahead and put some salt and pepper. If I could, uh, like this, boom. It's a little messy here. How to make the flour? But yeah, so we're gonna I'm gonna tell y'all guys how we do how we do it. You know, professional gutters. You know how we do it over here and how we you know cook up some good old squirrel. You know what I'm saying? So you know, got the squirrel. Get the squirrel right. Put a little bit of put a little bit of salt on it, you know what I'm saying? Got the salt, put a little bit of pepper on there. All you really need. Put a little pepper. The pepper on there. Make sure that's that's all in there. Nice and good. You know what I'm saying? Get some more pepper on the side. Boom. Now we got the little Cajun seasoning. Open that up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Sprinkle that in there too. I like a little bit of spices on my stuff. Clean up, go ahead, rub that in just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a little too much. Rinse some of that off. Boom. So now, I like to stir this up a little bit. Uh, this is your egg yolk, you know? You gotta have egg yolk. You cannot forget the egg yolk. You can't just leave this wet and put it in flour and cook it. No, that's not how you do it. You gotta put the egg yolk in there. So we got the egg yolk, dip it in the egg yolk. Mm. Boom, turn that around, spin it around, let it, let it soak in the egg yolk just for a couple wow. minutes of flour that I had, you know. Some regular flour that I had, um, already seasoned up and stuff, that my parents had some for the fried chicken other, other week, so. Didn't have to make the flour, just had to put a little bit of stuff in there, add my little flavor to it. So, can't tell y'all what that is, but got that ready. You know, ready to put it into the to the oil. All right, so as you can hear, that sizzling, yeah, that sizzling, that means I made this ready. I made this 
ready to put our stuff in real quick. See, now, got the meat over here. Put them one more time in there. That, that good, that good. You know, I already put the yum yum sauce on there. Now, make sure these joints are good, saturated with that flour. And put that money in there. Ooh! Get that money popping. So let's turn that thing down. Let's turn that down a little bit. Ooh. Let's turn that down. There we go. So I think these are done. Gonna get them on the plate. Cool down. We're gonna try some. You know? Nice, juicy. I was about to say chicken, this ain't chicken. Think this is done? Oh, you cooking? Hey, it looked done to me. <laughs> Alright, so we got the two squirrel legs done. You know, they're a little bit burnt, you know. First time I ever cooked a squirrel, so they didn't know when to take it out. You know, you gotta cook them. You know, all the way through, because you never know what squirrel had. And they can hold rabies, so I want to cook it really good. So, they overcooked it a little bit, but got some hot sauce. You know, typical yum yum sauce. Get some in now. We're going to try it. Mm. Yeah, that might be tough. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. Dip it in some hot sauce. Real chewy. Real chewy. I'm gonna tell you, it tastes really good though. Good seasoning, good flavor. Just real, real chewy. In a bite. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm. Chewy. So yeah. That's really it, guys. Um. Like, comment, subscribe, watch my other videos. You know, video after this, after my intro, my outro. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all guys in the next episode of Professional Goods Outdoors. So, peace out. Keep moving on.